Okay, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Last time we left off, I said I was gonna go grind demon fangs, and what, what happened? I did! It took a while, and cops are outside my window. Shut up, cops! No one needs you! So, back in Seon City, after dealing with Kaguma, too, um, we have a very important person to meet, finally. And you're probably thinking, who is it? And this person is a is, is person. I am Russian. All hail Russia. Um, it is a person that we've heard high tell of, but no see. I did not phrase that correctly at all. And it's not Rao. Get out of here, Rao. No one wants you. Except every other person I know. Question mark. <laughs> Anyways, it's time that we go to Queen Himiko. Now, to get past her guards on the Emperor. We gotta use Veil of Mist. Never forget to use Veil of Mist. Trust me. You're gonna feel stupid if you do. But before we go to Kimiko's castle, we have a couple things to collect. Meaning, meaning, I just played this like two hours ago, meaning, thank you, still remember how to power flash. Also, off camera, I got the items I said I was gonna get, so we got the golden ink pot and the thief's glove. Too bad we're never gonna use that except the golden ink pot, because it's wonderful. If you don't get the golden ink pot and you love using your ink, your brush skills, get the golden ink pot, ink pot, and don't forget it. Even if it's a hundred demon fangs, it's worth it. But anyways. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, you want the golden ink pot. Because it also doubles your ink gathering. Double, twice I would imagine, double, double. Um, and if you just use brush skills anyway, like you a lot of skills, you're gonna just want something to uh, pick you up immediately. So, never forget about it. And if you forget about it, yeah, you really only have yourself to blame for that one. So, let's say no to the stairs, and jump way the heck over here, and then, uh, things over here if I'm not, yeah, that's for later, I'm pretty sure, or something important for right now. This is for much later, and, um, over here is nothing? Yep, nothing. That or it's not important. So let's go to Queen Himiko and see what's going on. Also, I should really turn off Facebook. That's not Queen Himiko, that's just, I think, a maid of hers. So we got another stray bead. Two stray beads for the price of one, yay! So we're gonna just press on, and on, and on. So coming up to the last floor of Queen Himiko's palace, guess what we find? You think it's something important? You think it's something grand? You think it's just a straight walkway? No. Lava. Freaking lava. I guess that's one way to protect, you know, an empress, but come on. So let's dash, jumble jump, and yeah. So with the fire ta uh, tablet, we can now swim across from waffles. Lava. We cannot run across it or do anything against uh, or anything but it. But it's you know story improvement and development. So we got a couple doors. Also a save mirror. Yay! Let's use it. So yeah, this is gonna be fun, right, guys? Cause we gotta go see the person who's been causing Seon City so much horrible con catastrophe. Let's see who it is. Or hell, what it even looks like. Not my mind, 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 not my mind
Like music orientation or, or like a genre. It's a very classical or or trail or oh theme. And honestly, Queen Himiko herself, I would say she's really 
you know, important as a character. She's a very nice, caring woman who doesn't want to see her, uh, who doesn't want to see her people suffering like this, like, day on end. And, you know, it's very understandable. She doesn't want to see anyone suffer. Or, obviously, something that she can't control, but she's still a kind-hearted person. So this is a key to owning Island. Which now we realize is the enemy stronghold and the powerful shield. But we can't exactly do a whole lot about that, anyways, because, you know, we're gonna need a way to locate it, and for that, we're probably gonna need a bar dragon. I will help you, don't worry. He has to really he help Queen Himika. You see, we don't really have a problem doing it. And now we got the border key to go to North Hiroshima Coast. Why is it se uh, sectioned off in different areas? I honestly wish I remembered. I can tell you. I don't. But that was Queen Himika. You see, we're not gonna know what we're doing. Stop it. So, with saving, let's carry on to Northern Ryushima Coast. Mostly due to the fact that, you know, we're coming up to the part of the second chapter where, ooh, we are going to want to do a lot of things, and relatively fast, I want to say, even though, you know, this part's still going to be pretty damn long, like, if I'm not mistaken, the first um, chapter, the Orochi chapter, took us only 11 episodes to do, right? Was it 11 or was it 12? It must have been 11. Or 10, rather. So, effectively, it didn't take us that long. Now, this is where the game... What the heck? Oh, I thought you were like, yeah. Um, yeah, this is where the game gets ridiculously long. Espe especially if you want to follow the lore 100%. And... I could tell you the lore, but I'm not gonna lie, I forgot a majority of it, so I'll probably just have someone type it into uh, type it into the comments. So I don't have to play the full of the stupid video. AKA someone I know. I oh, won't, don't worry guys. I'll bring up stuff that I remember. So now we get Seon City during the day, yay! But I wanted to go see the Emperor because I believe he has something for us that we may or may not want, but I don't remember on the top of my head. I don't remember when it also triggers where you can buy this certain object in your game. Nope, it's not yet. We're going to need about 100 game tanks or so. So, before anyone asks, oh yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, you're going to need about 100 game tanks. So, effectively, you're going to need 200 game tanks by this point. Or 270, rather, because you get by the uh, Thieves Club. Now, with some extra cash I had, I also went to go buy some skills of the dojo. So, effectively, we're only missing two skills of the dojo. And what two skills are those? Oh, they're skills that I don't want to show off, but kinda have to. Anyways, going on. So yeah, Seon City. I realize there's a lot more minigames in here than I thought there were. So we're gonna have fun. And when I mean fun, I mean probably torture for me, but fun for everyone else. You guys should feel so special right now. Also, I went out of my way and bought um, the Seven Wonders, I think it was. Seven Strike. So yeah, we got another Glaive weapon. Too bad I don't use that mostly because they're ridiculously hard to use in my opinion. <laughs> I know how to use them, it's just they're hard. But in return, I believe they're the most heavy hitting weapon you can ever get. But for right now, I don't give a damn. So right over here to Norochimo Nor Coast, we got some body, we got some soldiers here, and we got the border. So let us through. Open the gates, we shall! And so they do. Uh, I love Roshima Coast music! 
I can actually hear it too. And there's no swap between ordinary Roshima Coast and ordinary Roshima Coast. They're both the same. So we gotta take care of that pesky water dragon. Too bad we're not gonna get the green stew just yet. And also, hello, Walka. I'm not gonna lie, I think after this recording, I don't know. Once my friend's back, I'll text him later. Oh, it seems like he knows a little bit about Isu. Okay. Bye, Waka. So you're probably thinking, why do you need the flame talisman on? You technically don't, but I want to keep it on just for some safe measures. Also, say hello to the windows. Yeah, I don't know. I also forget how to take care of this thing. I'm pretty sure it's just a uh, fail. Wow, really? Is Bill and Miss the bloody weakness? And that's the whole adventure, honestly. Also, no Yen! Come on, game! That was a flawless fight! Freaking flawless! And also, Ro Northern Roshima Coast, just like Roshima Coast beforehand, has the Celestial Mirror, so we could save warp, I believe, from this. Yeah, save warp. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, I'll just call it save warp. So, Roshima Coast! We're gonna have some side quests to do here, and a lot of other things to do here. So I hope you guys are ready, buckle down, and ready to begin some of them. And yes, I did mean some, because there's just a lot of stuff we can't do yet. Until a tad bit later. But we have a merchant over there, which we're not gonna talk to, but we have a pro digging spot! Let's dig the dig! Get a heart. Uh, not part. Get a little thing for a couple of things. Make me go blind. Thank you, game. So, oh, we got a Guardian Slap, which I think Waka said he already took care of for, for us. So thank you, Waka. So we got the Archer here. And, uh, he seems to be hitting a target once again. So, this is where a very interesting co thing comes into play. Where he's gonna throw a or fire arrow, rather. And, once again, we're gonna have to help him along his way to get to become a master archer. So, we just, you know, use water. And that's puzzle solved! Yay, the puzzle solved! My arrow. Yes, it did ripen that fruit. You are an amazing archer. You should feel encouraged. Impressed. And really upset for some reason. So then over here we got the money and I have a lot to do. But we have some oxen too! So let's feed the oxen some herbs. And then promptly leave them alone because they're not going to give them a lot of anything I want. Goodbye. Oh, crap. Get off there. So, coming onto the beach line, we got some pigs. Pigs. Wink. I don't know, I, I like pigs. I, I like pigs in general, actually. Except, unless, of course, you need an awkward pig and that pig just like, and it tries to tackle you. And what are you doing to this poor, poor man? That kid even, even has a whip! What are you kids talking about? He's 
don't even if he lied to you, he probably doesn't want to tell you the story. Yeah, you also probably shouldn't gang up on a guy. Especially when you have a whip. Please, just go play. Don't hurt the guy anymore. There, you're safe. Yes, dozed off. Those kids are being good. So, yeah, we're kind of intrigued about your story about, you know, the castle at the bottom of the sea. We are fairly interested in that, and I would like to know more. Huh, Dragon Palace, okay. I've been there in a dog age. Yeah, that's, that's funny considering we're a dog. So, what is this water palace? Only those that are worthy of The orca will show them away. Okay. The pier, I'm going to meet orca. Nah. So effectively, just go to the pier, I think, during daytime. Or nighttime. Anyways, let's go and see if it triggers. Of course it doesn't. Well, let's see if I can do this. Yep, that worked. The puzzle was Korean sunlight. Something's coming. Something indeed. Say hello to a lot of people's favorite part of Okami. Orca! And obviously Orca is, I believe, an Orca whale? I don't know. I'm not exactly that good with uh, stuff like this. Yay! Orca came to see you, dude! It's not like we need him. And... <laughs> so you're Orca. You're pretty damn impressive. Will you lead us to the Dragon Tower? The Dragon Palace and beyond. Orca. I said that wrong. Never mind. Uh, good old Orca. Hi, Orca. I'm gonna miss playing with you because we gotta do stuff. Uh huh. So effectively, you're gonna be safe whenever we're on Orca. And thank you, Orca, for throwing us off. So let's hop on to Orca. I said hop on to Orca. Hop on to Orca! Thank you. So, as you can tell, Roshima Coast North is pretty damn big. So we are going to have one hell of a time trying to get to place to place. First on our list of places to go happens to be right where you can see it. There's a lot of dialogue. Okay. In a whirlpool. Okay. Uh huh. Don't worry. I think we got got this. Yep. Our first destination is way 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 over there. Wow. I cannot talk. So we gotta go to first of all the Guardian Guardian Sapling. So let's hurry up, Orca, and get to the back of this island. Now, once you're on Orca, the water dragon is not going to pester you. You know why? Because Orca, well, obviously the water dragon also has to deal with Orca because he's a dragon. And dragons all live in the house of water. So he, I highly doubt he's going to hurt one of his own kind, essentially. So yeah, when you're on Orca, there's nothing to fear on the ocean. Unless, of course, you want to get a little crazy and swim away from Orca, and then Orca's going like, No, don't swim away from me, you're going to get attacked. And, of course, some people don't listen, because the point's me and my friend. 
Oh, so it's crap is open, and what do we get? We get 30 braids! Do we need it? Kinda! Maybe! Possibly! Anyways, let's go! Oh, I wanna land on Orca! Let me land on Orca! Yeah, yeah, I know what to do. Yeah, I know about the roll the door. Don't worry. I hope Orca! So you can go faster, you can go slower, it's all on your on your personal opinion of what you want to do. Also, there's a meowing coming from this tower. Let's go to it, because I love kitties. Whatever there's meowing, there's kitties. You're probably thinking, why are you calling cats kitties? I honestly don't know. I don't know how it started, when it started. I just always have the habit of calling cats kitties. Kitties! They're so cute. I love cats so much. And dogs. More of a cat person, I'm sure. Dogs are bad. So next time, we are going to... Actually, I think we could put a little more effort into this episode because we're only at 26 minutes and a lot of this Let's Play so far has been a solid 30 or 35 minutes. It also depends how late it is currently because I don't know what time it is. It's around 8. I kind of have to be quiet for, a bit, uh, for tonight because I need to be quiet. I don't know why I had to say be quiet twice, but this is Cat, cat Call Tower. Oh my god, this is going to be horrible for people who want to do 100%, and that just happens to be me. So, Catwalk, Cat Call, Cat, 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 words I am having trouble saying. Cat Call Tower is a very sweet tower. Also, we get another enemy type, which is, uh, paranormal, paranormal or something. Basically, it's every element we dealt with so far, so you can sit there out of the character. So yeah, so we use fire, ice, and uh, thunder, I believe. How do you take care of ice? Oh, oh, oh no. You wait for it to die out. Now, I don't remember the full picture for it, and it clearly wasn't power slap. You so mean. You made yourself seem very smart today. So, coming over here, we have a scroll which we're not going to read. So, the thing about Cat Call Tower is you're going to have to climb it. Not just once. You're going to have to climb it twice. Yes, I did say twice. Mostly because there's a stray bead at the top. So, you have to climb it twice. And yes, you have to climb it twice before anyone asks. So, I just wanted to show it off in this video, show off the new enemy. And then next video, which we'll look at tomorrow, I should show off the pain and suffering I'm going to have to go through for 100%. And I hope you guys are ready, because I sure as heck are. Wow, grammar. But basically, one thing about this video I can show off, you get stick on the wall forever. You get stick on the wall forever until you get jumped. But yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you guys like Let's Play so far, and I'll see you 